Hello, darlings, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are having a great day, night, or whatever time of the day it is for you. Welcome back to the channel. So I have several fragrances that I am going to be trying out to give you my first impression, as well as if it's something that I will want to add to my collection. But before we get started, be sure to click down below, hit that like button, and while you're down there, be sure to click the subscribe button. That really helps out my channel, and it also lets me know that you are enjoying the content, honey. And the first sample that I am going to go over today is from another fragrance from Valham Parfumery, and this one is Opus Core. Now, I have not tried this Opus Core. I sat on it and I waited just so I can give you a true first impression. Just from how much I enjoyed the mango skin i am going to have expectations because i love this mango skin so much i'm expecting this brand will keep me happy as well as offer me something that will just blow me away because the mango skin blew me away honey so yes i, I am so so ready to try this and this one is opus core you guys i should have put out the notes i didn't even have the notes so give me a second while i look up the notes Okay, so I have the notes right here in front of me and this Opus Core from Valham Parfumery. It is described as a floral woody musk. I love a floral woody musk scent. I really, really love a floral woody musk. I really love a musky perfume. I, musk is one of my favorite notes in fragrance. To give you an idea of a floral woody musk, if you do not know, would be Julia Has a Gun, Not a Perfume as well as my bond number nine, Nolita. That's a floral woody musk, and I really love it. I just bought that a couple days ago, and I really, really love that scent. That's another floral woody musk. Okay, so this one has the notes of acai berry, a Sicilian lemon, raspberry, magnolia, violet leaves, musk, amber, and sandalwood. So this is a floral woody musk. Let me go ahead and give this a quick spray, honey, to give you my first opinion, my first impression of Opus Core. I'm still going to try all of the fragrances because I have been reading upon them and there are several of them that I really, really want to try. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to order me some samples. Oh, what is in this? This smells amazing. I'm I'm speechless, you guys. Sorry, I, I'm speechless. Wow. Okay, 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 okay. Let me let me gather myself because it smells freaking amazing. This smells really good. Okay, so what I smell right on the top is I do get the Sicilian lemon and I get the acai berry and musk. The musk is popping out. This is a soft musk. This smells like it gives me the vibe, which it gives me the vibe, which I do like. It's a classic perfume. It is Marc Jacobs Daisy as well as what is another fragrance like Marc Jacobs Daisy, which is, um, I have it on the tip of my tongue. You guys give me a second. I can't remember. I'm having a brain freeze. Um, Chanel. Chanel Chance. Oh, Tendre. Oh, my goodness. This smells freaking amazing. Okay, and it has notes of magnolia, violet leaves. It's like a wet, powdery, a wet, powdery lemon. Now, lemon, I struggle with lemon. Versace arrows on the toilettes. I definitely pick up that vibe of that lemon in the top. So this is a pretty lemon. This is a very, very well-refined lemon with a slight powderiness to it. And I know that powderiness is coming from those violet leaves. It's a little green, just a little green. It has amber and sandalwood. Now, it doesn't smell warm to me from the amber, but this smells absolutely amazing. Let me see what the Accords. Fruity, floral, citrus, musky, azonic, aquatic, aquatic. 
like bubble bath. <laughs> Bubbly. Yes, 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 yes. Rose powdery, powdery. I knew I smelled the powderiness from the violet leaves. Green, it green from the, the actual leaf of the violet. So it's not just violet, it's actually the flower and the leaf. So I definitely get the green and it's saying tropical. My goodness, it smells absolutely amazing, you guys. Wow. I'm definitely going to have to, I'm going to have to wear this to give you more where I can do an in-depth review of this Opus Core. Now, this smells good with the name, Opus Core. I wonder what that means, okay? I'm gonna have to really look into this, but this smells freaking amazing. Wow, wow. <laughs> I'm definitely probably gonna add that, you guys, listen. You have to try this. This sample is only $5. I will leave this link down below for you to try this as well. This smells so good. I definitely want you guys to try this. This smells absolutely freaking amazing. I am just in shock at all right now. I'm trying to collect myself, but this smells so good. Now, this is the type of fragrance that I absolutely love, but I have to wear it. I have to wear it to see how long it's gonna last. And again, I am not disappointed by this house. I really want to try more from this house. I am just, I, I'm trying to collect myself, you guys, this smells so, so good. I am just so, so happy of what I've smelled so far with this Opus Core. Wow. Okay, I'm going to put this Opus Core down, but when I take me a bath tonight, I'm going to spray just a little bit on me to see how this does overnight. But my goodness, it was well worth the wait. It was well worth the wait. 